Well, hey, Reese, definitely a, a tough morning here in Fort Washington. It all happened where I am right now on McKay Road. Uh, if you don't know that area, it's right off of 210 South is where we find this neighborhood. It's this home right here over my left shoulder. And I want to show you some video uh, from what it looks like last night. And while we look at that video, I'll talk about some of the details. It all uh, happened just before 8 o'clock last night. 911 was called after a woman was heard screaming. Officers arrived and actually found the woman being attacked by two large dogs. Uh, that we're not being told what the breed was, just that they were larger dogs. The officers, one officer actually tried to scare the dogs and then shot and killed one of those dogs. It was the other dog that then ran off, which prompted this late night search for the dogs, uh, hel the dog, I should say, helicopter and all. Uh, now, we heard from Chief Henry Stawinski, who talked a little bit about what led up to this and then the relationship between the dogs and the victim. It appears that she may have known or been familiar with these animals as well. But again, that's very preliminary, and that's why our animal control team is here but what precipitated this, we don't know. We don't think it poses an immediate threat to our public, but one of the reasons I'm here is to ask our community if they see a dog wandering in this vicinity, please contact us immediately, call 911, don't wait. So that was last night. At this early hour, we've not been told whether or not they found this dog. Of course, if we get any updates, we're going to let you know about that. Uh, still, obviously, a lot of questions that remain as far as uh, how the victim was associated uh, with those dogs. Uh, meanwhile, it's worth noting there was another situation just like this in Prince George's. Yet another uh, dog attack in Prince George's County last month in which officers had a fire on dogs when they were talking, attacking two men. So two troubling situations in Prince George's County.